And there is our magical rose that is starting to fade. And we're going to put it on top and we're going to gently push. And once it gets high enough, and we could also make Belle a mermaid. Hi guys, today we have Play-Doh Belle Blooming Castle. I'm so excited to play with another princess Play-Doh set. Let's go ahead and see if we can get her open. She's ready to be decorated. She has on um, part of her yellow, but she also has a pink rose dress. And these are pretty neat sets because if you have more than one, you can also change things around. So I'm going to show you what that means. Right, right back here we have Ariel. So now we have Ariel and Belle. Well, we could take Ariel's mermaid fin off and we could put her onto Belle's dress just like that and we could also make Belle a mermaid isn't that kind of fun but right now we're gonna go ahead and put Ariel back on her mermaid fin and we're gonna put Belle on her pretty rose dress now we're going to set them to the side and we're going to go ahead and build the castle. There, now we have her castle done. You can see up here there are some things to press. There's a heart, there's a bow, there's another kind of bow, and that is also a bow. That would be good for decorating. You can also see that she has some more things down here. Well, I think you can see. Let me turn it this way so you can see better. We have a star, a flower, a rose, and a couple other different kinds of flowers. And on the back, we have some different people that we've seen in the movies. We have books, we have Cogsworth, we have Mrs. Potts and Chip. And here is the candlestick. I can't remember his name right now. And here we have the broom. And we have the special magical rose that we were waiting for the petals to fall off of. And there's also lots of patterns in here which would be good for making other things. This, too, makes a rose. We'll show you how that works in a minute. Okay, and this helps make her dress. It also comes with some Play-Doh. Let's see what colors we have. We do have some yellow. Let's see. Oh, yes, and it's very nice and sparkly. This is a dark pink. And here is another sparkly one. This is a sparkly light pink. One thing you can do with her dress, before I make the dress for her, why don't I show you. If you take some Play-Doh, and you squish it like that, and you push it against her dress, like that, and you take it off, what can you see? It's the pattern from her dress. That could make a pretty dress, too, if we were to do that all the way around. But we're going to do it a different way right now. We're going to take some of this yellow, and we're going to put it in this part of the dress. We're going to smush it in there really good. We're going to smooth it out so it's nice and neat. Okay, now let's pop it out. And there is part of her dress. That looks pretty good. Smooth that out there a little bit. Let's make the other part. We're going to need some more yellow. I wonder if it will all come out to me today. Oh, yes, it did. It all came out. And then we're going to put this one. Oops, sorry, Belle. We're going to smush this one into this mold. So it's nice and good, and we're going to pop it out. And there's another part of her dress. Now we can actually take her off of that 
and we could put her right through there. And then this could sit on top. And then we can have her in her dress and we could also give a dress to the little mermaid Ariel. And then they could both be decorated in princess dresses. Let's go ahead and finish playing with Belle though right now. And then we're going to try to do a heart. Smooth away the excess. And we're going to go ahead and try this bow. I'm going to go do the same thing, push it in and then smooth away the extra. And then we're going to put one last one right up there. Okay, now we're going to start taking them out. I still find it pretty easy to make a little Play-Doh ball to pop these out. Then you don't mess them up as much. There. That's quite a nice little bow. Let's set that right here on her dress. Wow, isn't that pretty? And we'll put that right there on that bow. And let's take out the last one. This one is another bow. Let's see, Belle, where should we put this other bow? Yeah, let's put it right down there. Go inside. There, you can see we made a little rose. Let's see what else we've made. A little bud of a rose that hasn't quite done. Another little rose. A little flower is another little flower. Now I want to show you what our little rose maker does. Okay, so we have our rose. We're going to stick some Play-Doh inside, like that. And we're going to put it on top and we're going to gently push. And once it gets high enough, we're going to go ahead and use our knife from one of our other sets. We're going to cut it off gently. And then we're going to gently pull back the buds, the petals. And there we've made a nice little rose. Let's, let's look at the back. We showed that we have different characters. I think we should make the magical rose. Don't you think we should make the magical rose? That's one of the most important parts of the story. And there is, oops, and there is our magical rose that is starting to fade. Ooh, I wonder if Belle's going to succeed in time. Is she going to find her true love? Let's see what some of these other characters do. We could do these pretty fast. So we just need to stick them in there. And then we'll take something to pull them out. We have Mrs. Potts and Chip. There we go. We have the candlestick. We'll put him over here. Then we're going to take the extra pieces and we're going to see what else we have down here. It could be perfect for making our story complete. Who else was nice to Belle when she got into the castle before the beast started to like her? I think... Oh look, it's Cogsworth. He was kind of worried about what the beast was going to say, wasn't he? And we have some more books. The broom. There's so many things you can make with this set. It would be so much fun to play with. So here we have Belle and Ariel and Belle's dress. There's just lots of things we can do. We'll have to do it some more another time. See you later, guys.